President Trump is doubling down on his warnings to North Korea tonight as the war of words heats up with Kim Jong-un. But in a surprise move today, the president also focused on another trouble spot, Venezuela. He's not ruling out military action there. Okay, can I political reporter Dave Bryan joins us now with the latest on that. I don't think anyone saw this one coming. No, People at the field. Pentagon were asked about it. They had no idea. Even as he turns up the heat on North Korea, President Trump pulled off a shocker by suggesting he's considering whether to use force in Venezuela, a country that's hitting rock bottom. And President Nicolas Maduro, who the Trump administration has called a dictator, is shutting down the parliament while food and medicine are in dangerously short supply. This week, the streets of Caracas have sometimes looked more like a war zone with pitched battles between angry protesters and the national police force. Its economy shattered by plunging oil prices and a one-sided national referendum that will give dictatorial powers to Venezuela's controversial president. The city is marked by long lines of people trying to buy bread, skyrocketing inflation, and empty shelves where food and medicine should be for sale. All of this has reduced Venezuela to a state of chaos, revolt, and anger. And at his New Jersey golf resort, President Trump dropped a shocker on reporters when asked about America's options for dealing with Venezuela. We have many options for Venezuela. And by the way, I'm not going to rule out a military option. We have many options for Venezuela. This is our neighbor. This is, you know, we're all over the world. And we have troops all over the world in places that are very, very far away. The president making the case that Venezuela is too close to home to risk the chaos or dictatorship spilling into the neighborhood. Venezuela is not very far away, and the people are suffering, and they're dying. We have many options for Venezuela, including a possible military option if necessary. That statement rocked former Defense Secretary Leon Panetta, who told CNN that in the middle of an international nuclear crisis with North Korea, the president should not be making loose statements about a military option in Venezuela. Then the president, in the middle of a press conference, talks about military options in Venezuela, for goodness sakes, uh, raising the prospect that somehow he's thinking about uh, using military force in Venezuela. Uh, you know, at some point, the president has to recognize that as commander in chief and as a world leader, that he's going to have to speak with some degree of steadiness and responsibility. As for North Korea, the president blamed past administrations for the mess that he's now facing, about which he said this. Nobody's really done the job that they're supposed to be doing. And that's why we're at this horrible situation right now. And it is a very bad situation. It's a very dangerous situation. And it will not continue, that I can tell you. Earlier, Mr. Trump issued a new round of warnings to North Korea that any provocation would unleash the full power and wrath of the American military. The president tweeting, military solutions are now fully in place, locked and loaded, should North Korea act unwisely. Hopefully, Kim Jong-un will find another path. Later, the president followed up on the tweet. I hope that they are going to fully understand the gravity of what I said. And what I said is what I mean. Those words are very, very easy to understand. And the president charged that Kim Jong-un has been abusing the world for too long. This man will not get away with what he's doing, believe me. If he does anything with respect to Guam or any place else that's an American territory or an American ally, he will truly regret it. And he will regret it fast. Despite all the threats and taunts aimed at North Korea from the president this week, the Pentagon says it isn't sending any more battleships toward the Korean Peninsula now, nor is it mobilizing forces there. And the New York Times reporting tonight there haven't been any evacuations of the tens of thousands of Americans living in South Korea or from Venezuela, for that matter. Now, Dave, is there any sign at all that the Trump administration has a possible way out of this North Korea Crisis, the there situation. aren't a lot of signs, no. <laughs> that's for sure. But there were a few hints today that some progress may be taking place through back channels with North Korea. For one thing, President Trump announced he would be speaking by telephone with China's President Xi Jinping tonight about the North Korea crisis. That could mean China's getting more involved as a mediator to set up direct negotiations between the U.S. and North Korea. And the president balanced his tough remarks today with a few mentions of being hopeful that this can all be worked out. 
Also, Secretary of State Rex Tillerson told reporters the overall strategy with the fiery language is to bring North Korea to the bargaining table. Jeff, back to you. Well,